Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a review on the MAC By Requests lipsticks. So I got three brand new lipsticks to bring you and I can't wait. So as you may or may not know, MAC held a voting for, um, for customers to bring back three out of six 90s shades from the MAC like archives. Now I was kind of rooting for Tomango or, t or t t whatever, something with, it sounded like tomato but it was an orange shade. I was rooting for that shade, my shade didn't get in, that's okay. I hope your shade got in and these are the three winners. We have Glam, which I'm wearing right now and I'm actually loving it. Like I just, um, I'm just getting like used to these shades and I have to say I know everybody was rooting for Hoop but oh my god this one is my favorite. Um, the next one is Pink Poodle which is a glaze. The one I'm wearing right now is a, is a matte and also we have Satin Hoop. Now I know that's the one that everybody's like going crazy over. It's sold out already. So I don't remember the storyline about all these. I think Pink Poodle's from Valentine's Day Collection. Um, I forget when Hoop is from, and I think Glam is from like pre, was like the first Viva Glam. I'm not really sure, I really don't remember all the details, but you can check it out on their site. So the first one I'm going to show you is Glam because I am wearing it right now, and it's extremely true to the tube. Now you might think to yourself, this is a really average run of the mill red, but it really is a little bit different because it has a little bit of that pink undertone. And if you're a stickler for little things like that, like little details in your lipstick, you're going to want to pick this up because again, it's not. If you compare this to any regular red, I actually have Ruby Woo here. Let me show you the difference between this one and Ruby Woo. So you can see the difference between, say, a regular red and this one. And you can see the pink undertones in it. So this is Ruby Woo and this is Glam. They look very similar, but do you see that pinkish shine to it? That's what sets it apart. Now again, if you're, if you're not like a lipstick aficionado and to you red is just red, and this is just going to be read to you and you might not even bother picking it up. It is limited edition and once they're gone, they're gone. Um, it's online only. So again, if you are stickler for those little details in your lipstick, pick up Glam because I'm telling you it's matte, it's pretty, long time wear. It's a little bit drying on the lips but you're going to wear it, it's going to wear all day. Uh, the next shade I'm going to show you guys is Pink Poodle. Now this is a glaze but it really is so opaque. Oh let me do a swatch on my hand with um, Glam. I'm doing, I'm, you're gonna see lip swatches too but here you go. So here's the swatch on the hand and here's the lip swatch. I know I put on lipstick so awkwardly don't I? Please don't judge me. Um, so here we go. The next shade is Pink Poodle and this has a beautiful beautiful iridescent violet inside of the pink. It's very very pretty. Now when I think glaze I think of something that is really under pigmented almost like a gloss just like a glaze like a glaze donut like it's sheer but this was surprisingly well applied pretty pigmented on my lips I was a very very pleased with it here is the swatch of pink poodle on the hand and here's the swatch on the lips See, the hand swatch is just a little bit deceiving. Really, really one swipe, pretty opaque on the lips. If you have more pigmented lips, this might look a little bit more opaque on you because the pink will draw on the pigmentation of your lips. If your lips are underpigmented, it might not look as pigmented. Maybe use a primer on your lips. The last shade I want to show you is Hoop. I found these shades to be really feminine, very soft, very girly. Hoop is a pink mauve shade. I feel like this is the kind of shade us girls seen a lot in the drugstore in the 90s. So I felt very I felt very close to this shade. I was like, wow. Like every time I had a wedding to go to or a function or a graduation, this was the shade I wound up getting. This or a brown in the 90s. Like this was it. So this is Hoop and this is a satin finish. This is a satin finish, and as you can see, it's really pigmented. And here's the lip swatch. Yeah. 
really pretty, right? Very easy. All of these shades applied very opaquely. Now, the great thing is that in this collection, they also came with matching lip glosses. And lip glasses, and I'm going to do a separate review on this because it turns out the permanent pink poodle shade is completely different than the pink poodle by request one. So I have the permanent one. I'm just one waiting in. for the limited edition by request pink poodle to come in before I do that actual review. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video swatches. I'm going to have picture swatches at the very end. I thought, I hope you you guys found this helpful if you were hoping to look for hoop I'm sorry it is sold out but the other two shades should still be available on the Mac.com website again it will not be in stores it is online right now they also have the lip glosses lip glasses and three limited edition eyeshadows which I'll also bring you a review on shortly thank you so much for watching please follow me on Instagram I'm recycled stardust